Welcome back to Real Milwaukee. A Fox Point man is making a name for his nonprofit group. They take professional photographs of those less fortunate in and around the Milwaukee area. Sarah Worthman is here with Patch.com and Matt Heltzley is with Help Portrait Milwaukee. Good morning to both of you. Welcome Good morning. to you both. Matt, you're the Fox Point guy we mentioned mm -hmm. in the intro there. You yeah. started this three years ago. Such a neat, neat thing. How did you get involved? Well, uh, actually, another photographer friend, uh, Rob Gustafson, and I were uh, um, we were talking about opportunities that we had to uh, uh, kind of give back to the community in, in some way, shape, or form. And there's there's lots of different opportunities, but none of them that really take advantage of our specific skill set as photographers. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, essentially, the idea was that uh, a celebrity photographer out of Tennessee, Jeremy Cowart, uh came up with this idea to. Uh, find people in need and and give them a picture. People who wouldn't be able to ordinarily afford uh, a picture. Uh, find them, give them a picture, print it out on site if entirely possible, and uh, and be done with it. So we ended up finding uh, a few organizations that uh, uh, were willing to work with us that first year, yeah. and uh, um, we came in and, and did exactly that. We uh, found people who uh, uh, were in need, never had their picture taken in, in a lot of cases. Uh, we've we gave them a, a professional portrait. We, we we go all out, bring in the entire studio. We we have a uh, we have lights, backdrops, um, hair and makeup. I was gonna say, do you do the wow. kind of makeover we also? Do. Yeah. Awesome. So the first year we didn't have hair and makeup. It was mm -hmm. very uh, bare bones. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say that. We did. We just not at the uh, at the site where most of the people were. We okay. uh, uh, made a mistake on that. But we learned from our mistakes. And in following years, we've really gone uh, and tried to make this as professional as possible. So some people might say, well, what what's in a picture? I wouldn't say that. But some people might. Right. What have you seen as a change uh, in their lives or their personalities or what's what's happened, developed uh, yeah. as a result of these pictures? That's a great question, because quite honestly, to uh, to most of us as photographers, uh, you know, we we take pictures every day uh, and and give people pictures and and to them, to them it means something, right? But to us, it's 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 pictures, right? right. And and uh, uh, in, in a lot of cases, for the help portrait people that we're that we're dealing with, these are oftentimes the very first picture that they've ever had mm -hmm. uh, professionally. Uh, and mm -hmm. and in a lot of cases, even if it's not the first picture, it's the first picture in a long time. Yeah. Uh, a lot wow. of these people are in situations where they haven't had a picture taken of them since you know, at uh, some point in their past, and they haven't seen themselves. And to them, it means self-esteem um, and uh, a sense of self-worth. And, and we really make it a, about self-esteem and self-worth. Yeah. That's that's really the driving. And we're taking a look factor. at some of the mm -hmm. pictures again from um, yeah. this. You talk a little bit, in the article it talks about, and it's very true, that homelessness it becomes in our minds, even if we don't think about it, mm -hmm. a, an anonymous issue. Yeah. Many of us, without even knowing, will kind of just turn away. Right. So this really focuses on that individual. It does, yeah. Yeah, and you it, see it in their face? The face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we have we have a lot of people that uh, that that come up and give you big hugs, and they cry, and and uh, um, you know th this is something that m ordinarily doesn't happen to a lot of, of people in this situation. Yeah. Because uh, we come in and, and there's no strings attached. We're not. We don't get anything out of it. We make a very uh, strong case um, for all the volunteers involved that this isn't about us. This is about them. Uh, we don't promote ourselves in this venture at all. Um, we just promote. Uh, the, the people that we're helping. So, right. um, yeah. Very, very neat. And Sarah, of course, the patch.com, that's where this article is. Tell us a little bit if anyone isn't familiar with your sure. site. Yeah, um, our division of it is foxpoint.patch.com. Mm -hmm. And um, we do local community news. So the whole idea is it's community driven. And um, that's actually how we discovered the article is I got a tip on Facebook from another resident in the area who said, hey, I have this neighbor who's doing amazing things. You should check this out. And that's how we came across the article. Yeah, I love it. You know, a lot of times we just kind of want to be seen, mm -hmm. uh, just witnessed kind of, I'm here, yeah. and it sounds like this does that, and hopefully it does then work on the individual's own personal self-esteem. Yes. So Love more it. again, patch.com and the Fox Point Edition, we've got a link to that from our site as well. So thanks for being here, both of you. Yes. Well, thank, thank you. you. Great thank work. You. Thank you. We'll be back. We're going to check in with Tony after the break.